In this video, I'm going to be showing you a fail-proof way for you to get started in editing in Premiere Pro. What's going on guys and welcome to the Creation YouTube channel. My name is Howney and I'm a filmmaker here based in Oxford. And today I'm going to show you guys how you can get started really easily on Premiere Pro. So the first thing you want to do is you want to organize all your footage. So what we're going to do first is we're going to create a folder where everything can be located. And then what you want to do is you want to add all your files into that folder. So on my desktop, I've already got all the files that I want to use and I'm just going to transfer them over to my folder. So if we open here, here they are. And the really important thing about this is you have to name your files because once you name your files, everything becomes so much easier for you to access later on and find in your project. So once your folders are in your project, the next thing that you want to do is you want to open up Premiere Pro and you want to create a new project. Now again, name it something suitable and something that you'll remember so that you can find everything easier later on. And we're also going to save this file in the folder that we just created. And one important thing that when you want to start editing, you want to be either on the colors or the editing tab. Now I prefer to be working on the colors tab because it's easier for me, but both can work pretty well and seamlessly they look about the same. So if we keep it here on the editing tab at the top, the next thing that we want to do is we want to start importing our footage. Now I've showed you guys how to import your footage already, but my way of doing it is we're just going to drag and drop them into the media tab here on the left hand side. We're going to select all three and we're going to drag them into the import media tab on the left hand side. So here they are on the left you can see them here in columns and you can actually change them from a list to maybe icons or different types of views and you can even make them bigger or make them smaller as thumbnails or lists. And if I hover over each image it actually shows me a preview of what I'm looking at. Now a really great thing about Premiere Pro is that as soon as you import footage into your timeline, the aspect ratio changes so that it fits with your footage. You don't have to create a new sequence and explain to the program what aspect ratio you want to use unless you want to be completely specific. So all we have to do is we want to just drop all of our files into our timeline here, drag and drop, and the timeline is created that fits our footage. And this is the aspect ratio that we're going to be working on. Now I've got a bunch of footage of different time lapses around the world. And here you can see that this one doesn't actually fit with our aspect ratio. So all we want to do is we want to go over to the left hand side where it says scale. I just want to click on this number that says 100 and just drag it right up until it fits the frame. There we have it exactly at 200%. So now that your footage is on a timeline, we want to get into the juicy bit, which is the cutting and the actual editing of the footage. If you press V, you can select files or the footage and you can drag them and drop them to anywhere you want. Now the next most used key, in my opinion, is the C key. And what the C key creates a little razor blade that lets you cut the image up. So here we've just made a cut in between these two. And all I have to do is press V again to select and I can move it around. Now if you hold Command Z, it undoes and if you press it again, it undoes it again. Another way to trim down your clips down to size is by going to the end of them here and where this little arrow is, just drag on the end of your clip and just move it to wherever part of the timeline you'd like it to be at. So now I'm just going to cut down all my clips down to size of what I want them to be and I'll show you the next part of this tutorial. So once you have it how you want it in your timeline, the next thing that I'm going to teach you guys is how you want to put text over your footage. Now again, remember in your hotkeys, all you want to press is the T button on your keyboard. And if you go over to the monitor page or the monitor tab on Premiere Pro, just drag and drop and you'll create this little red box that you can create titles in. I'm just going to call it time lapse. And if we highlight this and go here to the left hand side, we can click on a text and then choose the different fonts that we want. So I'm going to use the Avenir Heavy and I'm going to put it in the middle. 
So here you have ball controls here on the left hand side that you can do with the text. And I'm just going to scale it up a little bit. And here you can move the position either to the right or to the left. Or you can move it down or up. And these two different values kind of focus on the Y axis and the X axis of the frame. And the scale makes it bigger or smaller. So that's how you put text onto your clips. However, that was just me showing you how to do it. I'm not actually going to use this. I'm going to use some of the kinetic graphics that the creation team has already provided just to give a little bit more oomph into the frame. And if you're wondering where to get these, you can visit them at creation.store and you can find all their graphics packs there. So in my essentials graphics panel, I'll type in CC for the creation graphics packs and I'm just going to drag and drop the graphics on top of my timeline. And then we're going to change the titles here. And if we go to the effects controls, we're just going to scale this up. And here we have creation time lapse footage. Now you will have to render this or else you're going to get quite choppy images. Now the next thing which I'm going to show you is how to add your transitions into your clips. Now I will be using the creation team's transitions. However, I will quickly show you how you can access Premiere Pro's very own transitions as well. So if you want to go back over here to the import media tab and you want to click where it says effects and here you've got a variety of different transitions that you can use. You've got audio effects, audio transitions, video effects and video transitions. Now let's say for example, we want a dissolve. Now let's pick a widely popular one called cross dissolve. And all you want to do is you want to put it in between each clip. So here we have a cross dissolve and it literally does what it says. It dissolves the image into the other image. So if we quickly play this back, there you can see that it actually just dissolved smoothly into the other clip. Now I did mention that I'm going to be using a creation team's very own transitions, but that's just a way that you can find transitions that Premiere Pro already provides to you. And there's loads of different options and it's just finding out which one works for you. But you have dissolves, you have fades, you have zoom ins and zoom outs, and you have a bunch of different things that you can use that are really great that Premiere Pro allows you to have. Okay, so the final steps that you want to do when you're creating your project, you know, you're happy with your timeline, you're happy with your effects and your titles and your transitions, you've added all that in, cool. The next thing you need to do is save and render. So if you hit command and S, that will save your file to the project folder that you created earlier on. And then you want to take your playhead, which is this little blue thing here, and just take it all the way to the beginning of your timeline hit I on your keyboard that creates the endpoint and when you go right to the end of your key of your clips with a playhead and you hit O and that creates the out point. Next what I like to do is I like to go to sequence here on the top and render into out. So once that's all done you can completely play your clip that you've just created in real time without any lagging and the transitions and effects should all work flawlessly. So we're just going to watch that now. So there you have our little clip. Now the last thing that you want to do is you want to go to file, export, media now for the easiest file and the most popular file to manage you want to go where it says format and make sure you click the option h.264 after that your presets can match the source which is at a high bit rate and that's fine and then the output name you want to save it to something that you can remember or a name that you want so we're going to call this one creation learning premiere pro and then you can save it to wherever you want it. So I'm actually going to save it back into our projects tab that we created earlier on. Save that there and then just hit export here. So once that's fully exported, all that's left to do is now you can upload it to wherever you want it to be. You can airdrop it from your computer onto your phone and upload it to Instagram or other social media platforms. So to quickly summarize everything that we've spoken about in this video, the first thing you want to do is you want to organize your footage. So you want to create a folder and import all of the clips that you're going to be using into that folder. 
Once you've done that, you want to open up Premiere Pro, create a new project, and name it an adequate name that's going to fit with the project that you're trying to create. And also you want to save that into the folder that you've just created too, so that everything's nice to find and easy to locate. So once Premiere Pro has opened up and you've created a new project, you want to go up to the top bar that says editing. That will be your editing panel and your editing workspace. And you want to import, drag and drop or click and import your files into the import media browser or the import media workspace. Once there, you can then drag and drop it onto your timeline and Premiere Pro will automatically create a sequence of the aspect ratio to the first file that is selected. If some of the files don't fit onto that timeline, you can always change the scale, either scale it up or scale it down. But just do be aware that the higher you scale something up, the lower the quality of that file becomes. When all your clips are on your timeline, you wanna to begin to start editing. Now remember, you can use V to select the files on your hotkeys on your keyboard, and you can use C to come down to size. You can also use your mouse and drag and drop them to wherever you want them to be, or if you click right at the end of a clip, you can kind of trim it down using your mouse and the playhead. Also using your hotkeys on your keyboard, you can press the T button and hover over the monitor panel to create a text card or a text layer. Another thing to remember is on the effects panel on the left hand side is you have all the effects and transitions that Premiere Pro offers you for free that you can use however you like. So make sure that you take advantage of these great features that Premiere Pro has to offer. Now once your timeline is complete, you've trimmed everything down to size, you've added your music, you've added your transitions, you've added your titles and your effects, you want to save that using Control and S which saves your project, then you want to render your project so that it's ready for export. And once you've exported it, you can then upload it to whatever platform you like. So I hope this tutorial was useful to you guys. Make sure to check out the Creation Team's Instagram page for more announces and product updates in the future. Also, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to get more tutorials like this one. And if there are any tutorials that you want to see in the future, then please do write a comment for us. My name is Howney. See you guys later.